Please remember that all the opinions in the show are those of the host and should only be taken as food for thought. We're in no way telling you to do anything. Everything is kept anonymous for the safety of the listeners and no information is shared to anyone else. If you are easily offended by people's opinions or views, then thank you for making it this far, but this is not the podcast for you, so see you later. And please enjoy the rest of the show. Hey guys, as a recently engaged man, I don't know what's going, but I am getting a lot of attention from a lady at work and I'm finding myself tempted. Am I an arsehole? So this, the first email he sent in um, was about his um, missus was from a Jewish background and the family wanted him to convert. Right, okay. I remember this um, guy was quite uh, innocent. Yeah. He feels like he'd be upsetting his family and not starting to... Uh, he says, I'm not used to getting attention, so at first I thought it was flattering... But now I find myself craving her attention and going into her office for some chat and flirting. She made a move at Christmas during a Christmas party and I said no then. She said she don't mind me having a fiancé and that's playing on my mind since. Have you boys found yourself in a similar predicament to this? What can I do? Get the fuck away from her. Yeah, I would question her morals. If she's not that bothered that you're, you're like in a committed relationship then she's not going to be a person that you're going to want to be with long term. She's got and nothing think... to lose. That's what that that's what that statement is. Yeah. I've said it before, you know, I'm not proud of it, but you don't have to deal with the the backlash if if mm. they're the ones that are cheating. Yeah, exactly. And um I th- what I think it comes down to really at the end of the day is she's seeing an easy option um quite fancy yeah and was thinking i can entice this guy if i try hard enough mm. and mm. most guys would give in i'm not gonna stand here and say men aren't dogs because men are dogs and there's a lot of guys that i know that would even if they're not even slightly attracted to the woman they would still go there because yeah. they're an animal <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i think, I think like... the flat the fact that you're getting flattered by it is what's making you think twice about it. But I would question if you're happy with your partner now, don't jeopardize it. Leave no. it where it is, where it's been a bit of flirting and don't jeopardize it. But if, if you, if it's making you question your relationship, then maybe that's something you've got to think deeper. Mm. Yeah, no, I wouldn't go in, like there's so many things could like if you did it you got to think like you've ruined that with your partner then her family and your family because you're now a cheater and if it happens and it explodes and then you're at work and this woman's probably not going to want anything to do with you again everyone at work knows that you've gone on cheated with this woman Mm. no it's not fucking worth it no you don't shit where you eat no (laughs) <laughs> no and a lot of people do do it for him, especially in workplaces because it's like you you spend a lot of time with these people but um, I think if, if you care enough for your partner now I wouldn't pursue anything until you are 100% sure and then if you do pursue something split up with your partner that you're with now yeah it's much easier it, like it's a, still a hard conversation to say that you're not interested anymore but it's easier than her finding out that you've cheated on her yeah because you will get caught yeah oh yeah they always do every fucking time but like there's no harm in in the flirting and stuff like that yeah i mean everyone likes to be flattered that's the whole thing with like social media right is that nowadays more than ever we crave people's attention that we don't like when you put something on social media you're worried that people are not going to like you and then when yeah. they do, you're like, oh, I like this. And it's a stranger. Yeah. They don't mean anything to you or affect your life in any way. And obviously we know that from the podcast. The more you put yourself out there, the more open you are to backlash as well. But really mm-hmm. it's all for like self-approval. <coughs> <coughs> I do think it's the world we're living in. Where yeah. 
instant gratification is a thing. And if someone's in your face saying nice things to you, then you're going to feel a certain way about it. And I think anyone would start craving that attention. I don't think you're yeah. wrong for craving that attention. No. And as well, when you're at work and, and obviously your miss isn't around, it, it feels almost like naughty, which makes it more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, but but it's a slippery slope. Yeah, fuck that, man. Like, mm. honestly, it's not worth. I, 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 I think back to when I was younger and all like the crazy explosive relationships I had. I say all, the few explosive relationships I had, and I don't think my fucking brain or my heart could take it. Like, I would, it would just burst in my chest from the stress. Yeah, and I think. Um... Some people thrive off that, though. They thrive yeah. off the crazy shit. Yeah, my ex did. <laughs> mm. But, like, I just don't understand it. Like, it's such a horrible existence to be in a constant state of, like... Battle. Yeah. yeah. Just to... You don't know where it, the aggression or anything is going to come from, especially if you cheat as well. Then I can only imagine the... Paranoia. Am I going to get caught? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, or oh, unless you're that listener from the other uh, woman that took a bath and just left her fucking phone on the side. <laughs> you know what I mean, no care in the fucking world there. That's some balls. Become blase about it because she's been doing it for so long. Yeah, but then you get caught. You always get caught. Exactly. Um, yeah, don't feel bad for liking the um, the affection. That's not a. That's not a thing, but. And well done for saying no. Like a Christmas party is like the main time when people fucking. Oh yeah, it's such a frustrating thing. As oh yeah, Jamie, for definitely. <laughs> I've got track records at Christmas parties. <laughs> yeah, it's such an annoying thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to a Christmas party, and it's like, all right, then I'll 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 pack my stuff and I'll leave. Then <laughs> might as well just fucking go. It, the, we, the films make it seem like every American cheats on America on a Christmas party. Yeah. Well, it's one of them weird things where a lot of people, they don't go out with work colleagues unless it's that Christmas party. So you're letting loose around people that you don't normally let loose around. And certain people would fancy each other and it comes up and it happens. Mm. I wish though, the one thing I do wish that happened at a Christmas party was someone um, photocopying their ass. Yeah, like a woman. Like the typical... So I could take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what you need to set up at your new place when you start working somewhere else. Start well, when we do. start working together, you're going to photocopy your ass for me, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just come in and just see you in like just your boots sitting on the photocopier. Yeah. <laughs> Flapping my dick around like Drake. <laughs> just looks like a fucking squash watermelon with two oranges in the middle of it. Did you see the Drake video? I forgot to ask you about that. Um, I did. I <laughs> so I saw a, a thing that said something about Drake's got a massive dick. So I had to Google, didn't I? Yeah. And if I can look, the guy's packing heat, mate. He's turned like, up it, with fucking world class weapons. It looks uncomfortable. Let's I said, have that. To, I, do you know who led me there? Who I questioned very much so. Charlotte told me about it. I was like, <laughs> "How? What? What are you looking at Drake's dick for and fucking Twitter for?" <laughs> she was like, "Well, it was viral." I, I, I was like, "Well, wasn't that viral?" Because I didn't know about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think where was it? Was it on Facebook? It come off of mine. It, was it like just had like a blurred like a fucking, fucking sword, mate. I just think, oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's getting so many, you know, obviously with money as well, but that's why he, he sleeps with everyone. He slept with the entire celebrity pool of people, I think. Yeah, but you couldn't even get that entire thing in someone. Well, you don't know. You don't know. It's, it'd be like you'd be on your tiptoes and like your fingers trying to stop for something like impaling her. Be like, put in your lube and just be like, do you like that? Do you like that? Bang! It's like one of those videos you see where like the woman's getting it and it's pushing through the stomach. <laughs> I hate that. It looks like, so awful. It's like a fucking alien pushing yeah, out their gut. Yeah, I can see that fucking alien. <laughs> Don't mind piercing them, but not fucking like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Um, thanks for your email. Hopefully, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since you sent your email. Uh, no, it's not. It's been a week. Um, and you've come to your senses and you're like, that. Nah, I'm going to stick with my fiance. Let's hope, yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. Because it's not worth the... Because, uh, you know, realistically, if it happens, it's probably going to happen at work, which means it's only going to be like, what, 15, 20 minutes if you don't get someone almost come in. And then you've ruined like a good portion of your life because you've cheated. And on top of that, you could have worked, uh, ruined your work uh, life as well. Yeah. So, so it ain't it's, worth it's it. It's two sides of your life that you'll be uh, under pressure. Yeah. So um, hopefully everything's all good and you're getting back on with your, your wedding plans. And um, we hope to hear from you again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>